All right, welcome back everybody. It is September sometime, uh, 10th, and uh, this is Aligning with Success. And, uh, and I hope you are aligning with success because there is so much positivity and stuff going on in Niken right now, it's almost impossible to keep up with it all. Um, I hope you're finding yourself as busy as I am. I know I'm, I've never been busier. This is a, I feel like what my, my sponsor used to say, a one arm paper hanger and a windstorm. That's what he used to say. <laughs> a one arm paper hanger and a windstorm. That's busy. Um, well, there's so much going on by way of many of the announcements that's been, you know, you're prescient of, you're aware of, which is... No, I'll just go right behind you. I'm fine. Hold on a sec. There we go. Uh, with the energy packs, with the incentive, the S September incentive, I hope everybody's up to speed on that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please make a point of going to mynekin.com, check, register, you know, go online into your back office and see what the announcements are. Click on the information center and there's a bunch of announcements there with respect to the September incentive, which is really, um, you know, just adding fuel to the fire, giving bonus points or unique and reward points to the sponsor for doing essentially what the sponsor ought to be doing, which is sponsoring people, but for a particular behavior. And this behavior lines up with the packs and everything we've been talking about. You know, the good, better, best, that whole concept. Uh, we knew that this was coming down. We even included it in the, um, this is the, uh, the Nikon business plan brochure. Um, you can get that at Life and Balance Tools. And you'll see in the, uh, in the first section here, right here under that block, it says, consider, I know you can't read it, but it says, consider taking advantage of Nikon Wellness Home Packs. So we have everything telling the new person who's looking at this, hey, you should consider the Nikan packs to get your business started. We have the PDF from Nikan for the business packs. We have it on our website. We have it in our getting started material. We now have an incentive as consultants to encourage that behavior with Nikan reward points for a new person enrolling with any of these packs um, amounting to 500 to 99, 999 would be the first reward level then 1,000 to 19.99, the second reward level. And there's any, you can do this over and over and over and over again, create a, a tremendous reward. 2,000 to 2,999, more Nikon reward points, and then the top notch is 3,000 plus. You might think, okay, who is gonna buy um, 3,000 or create 3,000 points of volume in their personal ID? Well, anybody who's serious about building this as a business, that might be the very first decision they make to get their Nikon wellness home set up. And so if you just combine these packs, they're there. Um, and you know, you look at how maybe you got started, when you got started in ECAN, probably not far off the mark. So we're going back to a behavior that was producing consistently good results. Here's the difference, and this is the point that I wanna really emphasize. When we had these packs and we had this way of thinking and this way of doing things, which included instruction on the getting started, so all the information, good, better, best, all the information that's coming through to that consultant, no matter what call they're on, no matter what training they're a part of, no matter what information they're being given, they're all getting the same information. And that information encourages a behavior which is to get started and get started right with some products. All of this behavior was consistently what we did in the past when we were experiencing exponential growth with one caveat. At that time, do you remember what the compensation plan was like? For those of you who are new and you don't, let me tell you. The compensation plan, first of all, to attain the rank of silver was 20,000 points in volume in one month. So now you can see people were doing it and they were doing it very successfully, by the way. I have one conference call I encourage you all to listen to. If you have not listened to this call, listen to this call. I've archived it as one of the best calls for people to, to give to their new uh, en enrollees. It's called Silver's a Blast. It's on YouTube. It's called Silver's a Blast by Mike DiMuccio. Find it, play it, send it to people who are new because it encourages the same behavior. And it goes through a dialogue with a bunch of new people who had just turned silver. Now, that interview, I had about 20 or 30 people 
who had just gone silver within the last 60 days. So popping silvers like popcorn at 20,000 volume per month was normal. So this behavior of registering people with PACs, encouraging people to get started right with their business, good, better, best, um, that behavior resulted in people going silver, people going gold, platinum, and on, when the volume requirements for those ranks were considerably higher than they are now, more than three times higher, and you had to do it all in one month. Whereas now we have, I think, way too much time, and people are taking way too much time because they're giving way too much time, which is three months, to go silver. I think silver ought to be a week's exercise at, at worst. And that's what I used to do when I'd sponsor people at 20,000 points. We'd do that volume in a week because that's what we were programmed to do with people enrolling, getting their packs, and that volume was created. So with the incentives, with all the communication, with all the focus on how to get somebody started properly, give them the best start possible, give them access to the best products possible, that's going to be the new norm. But the difference is the compensation plan where it's 1,500 points to hit executive, no more senior, and 6,000 points to hit silver, and you don't even have to have people in your downline rank advance to do that. So that's the difference. So if you could imagine, just I want you to imagine this for a second. Imagine overlaying this new compensation plan to what Niken was doing as a behavior prior to these packs, maybe going back a few years when that was the norm. If you were to overlay the compensation plan we currently have with what was happening as a behavior, as a norm, right now we'd be popping silvers, golds, platinums, diamonds, and royal diamonds like it was yesterday, like it was no tomorrow. Actually, what happened in, in um, Mexico is, is that phenomenon. So if you recall in, uh, I think it was about a year or two ago, in Mexico, they had more rank advancements to diamond and royal diamond in three months than they had had in about five or 10 years. It was just crazy. And what happened was Niken in, uh, caused, uh, created the new, well, created, they in, implemented the new compensation plan. So they were literally overlaying the new compensation plan to a behavior that was common in, in, uh, in Mexico and in um, in Latin America because they already were working with PACs, the wellness home PACs that they had. And so what I'm saying is we're, we're, we're off to a bit of a slow start in my opinion because we have forgotten what was normal. We've forgotten that it was normal to ask people to get started with these PACs. So maybe you're a little bit gun shy coming out with these new PACs, but just remember it used to be quite normal. It was what you did if you remember. And I just want you to know the difference, though, in doing it today is that we have a compensation plan that is very dramatically different and it allows for accelerated growth like never before. So the old behavior in the new comp plan is explosive possibility. And this is what gets me turned on because I know once this becomes the new norm for you and the new norm for the field, we are going to experience what we have once already experienced. Most of us on this call was an incredible accelerated growth, exponential growth. So I'm here to just encourage that behavior. I'm here to encourage you to, to remember, recall that this was normal for people to get started with packs at 1,500, 2,000, 3. In fact, my packs, this is what I used to do. Um, in fact, it was published in the YouCube uh, uh, training system that I used to use. Um, there was good, better, best. I always had that. It was just my formula for doing things. And good was 1,500 points. Uh, better was 3,000 points. And best was 5,000 points. That was my good, better, best. That was my norm. And so what we found consistently, by the way, when you present three options, they always pick one of three. And guess which one is the average? Number two, so why do you want to present three options? Because that'll, pres that'll give them something to weigh, something to measure, and they, will tr they, will, they don't want to start maybe with the least, they don't want to start maybe with the most, but they'll try to fit right in the middle, and that's fine. You know? So keep that in mind as you're, as you're applying this new strategy with these new incentives. 
September is now. It's not next month. It's now. We're in it. It's already the 10th of September, one third of the month. So there is no time like the present. And, uh, and I just want to just give you that um, encouragement to remember that this is norm. But the difference is it's not going to give you the same results. This, this way we were doing things in this new compensation plan will give you a, a different re result, a different reality, much more accelerated growth, a faster growing downline, faster duplication. So really uh, pull your socks up and make this the new norm for you. Huh? Good, better, best, those packs, and take advantage of the uh, September incentive. Of course, we all have the, the free shipping for people ordering their water pack within their first 30 days of business. So everything i mean i don't even know what they could do better than what they're doing right now to be honest me can corporately and we've had criticisms of stuff they've done maybe here and there but right now i think they have sharpened the axe and things are pretty pretty sweet with respect to how how to go about building a business if it was a blank slate you had no previous understanding in the past right now you'd think it's a pretty damn good deal it's a very good streamlined business opportunity and i believe it is so help me help you get the word out. <laughs> so that's all I wanted to say for, for right now. Um, let's open the lines. Do you guys have any questions, anything that you'd like to discuss that you feel maybe is urgent uh, given the timing of situations? I've been, I've been pushing a lot of information out regarding the summit over the last uh, few days, one of which is there's a cutoff for the hotel. They will no longer give us our block rate after the 13th, I believe, of October. So if you've got some people who have been sitting on the fence, remind them of that. Um, also, the uh, there's so many things. Oh, the wellness previews that we're doing this week, beginning Wednesday, myself and Botanist, that's been pushed. If you haven't seen it, Niken um, published it on their Facebook page. I published it on my Facebook page. Um, so please, uh, I, pu I published it on Launch Partners. It's out there where the, uh, the events are taking place and what time, obviously, 7.30 on Wednesday night and Thursday, one on the East End, one on the West End of Toronto this week and again, following week. This is designed to help you introduce local people to the opportunity. So that's designed to get you uh, talking. You know, get out there and start asking people, who do you know in Toronto? Who do you know in Toronto? Of course, why? because we have this incentive going on for guest tickets for the summit. So imagine you have talked it up, you've gotten a few people out to a preview, they get excited, they wanna know more, they come back, they bring a few more people and now they get their people to the summit. What do you think's gonna happen to your business? It's a, you know, it's a pretty good one-two punch, I think. I don't think you could do it better. I possibly, I, right now I'm at a point where I'm looking at what I'm doing and thinking, I don't think it's humanly possible for me to do anything else anymore. Because I've been creative as much as I can <laughs> in every way I know how. So back to you. So what's going on, guys? How can I help? How can we have this uh, uh, alignment for all of you? Mike, you mentioned life and balance tools. Correct. Where you can get that leadership. Where's that at? I don't want to be dumb about this, but. Where's what at? Where do I go to get the booklet or the form um, for which, leadership? Leadership. She wants to know where to find life and balance tools. Yeah. It's Online. Right on, on your home office, there's a link to it. Or you just type in lifeandbalancetools.com on your URL. Okay. I have a question, Mike. Um, this Saturday is the Power A, and I haven't heard anything about it. Is there any news about that? Yes, there is. Uh, I'm not uh, organizing it. It's being organized by Bernadette and Ben, but they have organized it. There's a speaker or more. I think it's going to be a, an interview of a new silver, actually, just went silver, um, who was at the event in Orlando. Um, another example, by the way, another perfect and classic example of what you will hear in the audio um, that I recommended at the beginning of this call, which is um, Silver's a Blast. If you have not listened to that recently, please listen to it. Silver's a Blast on YouTube. It's an audio, but it's called Silver's a Blast, Mike DiMuccio. 
and it's old. It's an oldie but a goodie. It's one where you will see exactly what this person just experienced. They went to a, a big event, and within months of that big event, they go silver. In fact, in the call that I did, Silver's a Blast, of all the people interviewed, the person who took the most amount of time to go silver was six weeks. The one who took the least amount of time was, I think it was three or four days. And that was after they made a decision. That was the salient point in the first part of the call. And some of these people were in Niken for a long time prior. So it's not about when you got in. That never matters. It's about when you make the decision. And so the first part of the call extracts that information that what was very consistent for each of these individuals, did I write something wrong? I'll come back to you in a second. Uh, did I say something wrong or write something wrong? The cutoff for the hotel is September, not October. Did I write it as October somewhere in written form? No, you, you just said on this oh, call that it was okay. October, but in the WhatsApp chat, you said September. It's September. It's not October. My, my, that's my brain not, not being uh, as sharp as a tack. Okay, so where, what I was saying was um, they made a decision, and within the time frame of them making a decision, they went silver from three days to six weeks. That's a lot of people in a short span of time went silver inside of six weeks. So, and, and that's the 20,000 points in one month silver. So there's something to be said with encouraging a fast silver, encouraging the volume to happen within a month rather than to happen within three months. I think the longer, it's like, it's like, you, it's like I'm, gonna, I'm gonna clean out the garage. I'm gonna give myself three months to clean out the garage. Well, guess what week it's gonna actually get done if I'm serious about it probably the very last week of the, of the three months, right? And, and it, it could have been the very first week of the three months, but I gave myself three months. So we tend to expand into the time frame. I think that's a mistake. Right. So keep, your, keep, keep it short. Um, anyways, uh, I digress. So th this person who's being interviewed is a person who went silver within a, a short span of time of being in Orlando, which is consistent with the model. So if a humans being more summit is within five weeks, I guess five and a half, four weeks away, you know that whoever is going to be at that event who is not yet a silver, the probability of them becoming a silver within six weeks of that event is, by the way, the statistics that I kept was 85%. So if I had somebody who came to a big event who had not been to a big event like that before, there was an 85% chance they would go silver within six weeks of the event. So if you guys are looking to break some silvers, especially if you're on the hunt for, the, uh, for Team Kaizen and for Italy, there couldn't be a better experience than the summit to shape, up, shape their consciousness into the behavior. You know, it'll, it's like supercharging the batteries. Anyways, any other uh, thoughts or comments uh, that you'd like me to address? or like to be addressed. Well, how's it going for you guys? How are these incentives? How's this all playing out for you? How is it happening for you energetically? What's happening? Is it a slow start to September? You guys got kids back yeah. in school? Yeah, <laughs> How many of you have don't have kids going back to school. You're like into grandkids these days. <laughs> Think about it. So there's a lot of people who there's, there's traditionally ups and downs in the, in the, in the overall year, the experience of the year. September is like January. September is always like January. It's the turnaround point. It's the part, part where everybody goes, <gasps> because they just came out of summer. They're a little bit anxious because the holidays are over. They got to face reality and go back to the thing that they love or they hate. And, and so now it's facing the music, right? And so this is a time where people start to reflect internally, just like in January, they say that the, 
the newspaper business used to run employment ads used to be the highest in January because people were always ready to change something after those New Year's resolutions or whatever. September's like that. So you got all these people who are, whose kids are back in school. They're getting back into the rhythm. Now they're going back into the rhythm. That's the hard part of September is you got to get back into the rhythm while the, the, while the weather's starting to change. So you feel the, the heaviness of that too. But this is where you sow the seeds, guys. This is where you sow the seeds. September's a huge, September's a huge month. In fact, September was the month that I launched a fellow by the name of Marty Jeffrey and created the biggest launch in the history of NECAP. It was the month of September. So that's an example for me that September is a great month. Well, I'll share a story, Mike. So I've been real involved in summer and all the things that I love and family events. And um, I love the changes and all of the incentives and the packs and everything. And I do feel like, whoa, if nobody knew anything, this is golden. Um, so in that, I'm getting back on the horse, so to speak. And it's like, oh my God, okay, where do I start? Um, so I've got places to go and meet people. And in the meantime, I had sent out... Um, some invites to be on some calls and um, a, what would I say, a dormant consultant who's second level to me um, has never really done much. And she was very excited about these calls, but did not get on. And I got back to her and said, um, so what interested you about this? What are you looking for? And she said, well, it's time to really do this business. And she said that before, but whenever it came to doing anything, she never has. Well, things have changed for her. Her clientele list through her work has gone from 60 two years ago to 30 to 10 clients. And so she's hungry and she has a different need now. So I met with her today and I used the, um, the pack that Bernadette made and we went through that and some other materials and uh, went through like how to take her, why she's doing this and how to create an invite. And you know, I haven't in, had anybody to play with in a long time and it's really fun and it makes a big difference. So I'm really excited because I kind of have a list of places I want to go to network, which um, haven't existed so much in the summer, meet new people and someone that I'm working with and it feels good. That's awesome. You know, um, I want to, I want to piggyback on that for a second, because one of the things that makes, um, it, well, absolutely is exciting. It's exciting when you have somebody to play with, you know, the, that's no question about it. This is a, this is what makes Niken a blast. Um, but what's really fun right now is we have a new story to tell. And this is the thing that I think makes it easier for us to get out of our comfort zone and talk to people, even people we've talked to in the past. I think we have a new story to tell. Um, one of the things, for instance, I've been working on this week, this past week, is the agenda. And uh, believe me, it's not easy. I, I just didn't realize how difficult a task I took on with this event. But uh, putting this agenda together of all of these superstars and to give them topics that they want to talk about and, and make it into a story that everybody's going to want to listen to and have some kind of a flow to it. Um, it's like, it's like fitting the pieces of a puzzle of a thousand piece puzzle together. It's not easy, but what I'm, what I'm really getting excited about is the content. So as I'm going through this and I'm, I'm, oh, this will go here. And I did a two hour call with Susan uh, Carver, who, you know, Susan's an amazing promoter. So, She's fantastic at helping to put stuff like this together. And we had a great call. And by the time I finished, and we really worked on the morning. The morning session was the part that I was really scratching my head and uh, on the Friday morning. And, and after talking with her and working with her over two hours, I got like, wow, this is going to be fantastic. This morning is going to rock. So I'm, I'm excited about what I'm, what for you, I'm excited about what I know is going to happen. And what you're going to experience and what the people that you invite is going to experience. And that to me feels like a new story. I feel like what we have to offer people is a new story. Madeline's putting together a panel that's going to just kick it. That's part of the morning session. And, and I think it's part of a new story. My kids are going to be part of the morning session. I move them from the afternoon to the morning session. And I think that's part of a new story. The fact that we have a new compensation plan, part of a new story. The fact that we have these packs and they're, and they're precise. You know, these packs deliver. Have you guys seen the new water bottle yet? Have you held it? Man, this thing is awesome. 
Like you could build a whole empire just on that one bottle. I was watching a, a long interview uh, yesterday of Elon Musk, who's, you know, one of these uh, brilliant svants, I guess. I don't know. The guy's just a creative genius. He's a little bit hard to listen to because he doesn't really have a very eloquent, um, and not, uh, I don't know, his approach to speaking is a little bit gibberish and, and technical and whatnot, but, but fascinating just the same. It's like listening to the data from Star Trek. Anyway, the, the guy is, is very creative. He's very excited. And, and I forget what I was going to say, but I, just, I, I love the, the idea that we're part of this new generation, this new story um, that's emerging in the marketplace because Nikon has a, a rightful place to exist here. What we have to achieve, what we have to accomplish, what we have to offer is extremely valid. It's not like we're trying to conjure up something that's old and it's decrepit and not necessary. Oh, I was talking about the new product. Yeah, he's talking about these little, these, all these ideas that are little, little doodad products that he comes up with that are all killers. And I'm like, this water bottle is one of those products. It's killer. I mean, it's a huge, huge, uh, I think it's, it's so superior to the previous version that you could literally build a business just on this one product. And I expect to, by the way, I expect to start the next generation, the kids that I'm working with on that product because I think it's totally relevant for that generation. Okay. So it'll, they'll have something that they can easily talk about with people that they can relate to. They think it, it looks cool, feels good, cool, does what it does, that's cool. So these to me are, um, are stories. The, when you have something new of a story, it's like starting new. And the only reason why people will jump from one network to another and then appear to have success in the other, what changed? Did they change really? No. And they might want to say that the opportunity changed, but is that really what happened? Or did they just get excited about telling a new story? And because of that, they're excited. And when they're excited, they attract people because that's what happens. Law of attraction is the law of attraction. It doesn't care you know, what the story is, but if you're excited about a story, you're going to attract people. So I'm just hoping you guys are catching this, that there's a lot to be excited about and it's a new story. You can go back to anybody and tell people what's new and there's so much that's new. You know, you'll be spending 15 minutes talking before they even say anything because it's all new. Anyone else? I'll jump in. I had, um, at the Humans Being More, four different business units. Two were two levels below me before. One's still second level, but the other one went away and came back again, so he's first level. So what I'm, I'm going to be leaving for two weeks on Sunday for Europe, long overdue vacation. So I've been gearing up for that and um, gearing up for Dennis Williams coming in Friday, the event on Saturday, getting as much as I can done, and then... Mama Madeline's going to be gone. <laughs> so, so I uh, have new feelers out for new people, and I will have contact while I'm gone, and I plan on having casual conversations with the people on the plane and on the trip. Madeline, when do you fly out? I fly out at, well, I am up at 5, 4 on Sunday morning, so the 6th. Okay, do me a favor, hunt me down this week. Make sure that there's ample time for you and I to go over the uh, segment that you're covering. I'm meeting really with Dr. Important. Tom again tomorrow. I'm meeting him. So that, I've been working on that, working on that, working on, you know, getting ready to go. But I'm, I am a little anxious about being gone for the two months in the middle, but I guess it's good. It's going to be, it's going to be a great storyline, what, what Madeline's doing. Because normally, you know, when you have a health professionals panel, it's interesting, but it can be boring. Not this time. This is going to be very interesting because the storyline is about the paradigm shift. See, the whole summit is about a paradigm shift. So it's going to be exciting. Anyway, uh, anyone else? Thanks, Colin. And definitely um, hunt me down. Mike, it's Ann Brienza. Yes. Hi, Ann. Ann Hi. Brienza, who happens to be <laughs> the winner of last week's um, incentive that I was running. Um, how many points, Ann? I didn't even total them all. I think you were at six the last time I counted. but you Yeah. I, well, I was at six for that one week. And right. then I... Um, sold another sleep pack, so, so I don't know. So it was eight yeah. points for one week. Way to go. 
By the so, way, if you don't remember how the point system worked, for those of you who are not, are not part of my organization, wouldn't have seen the email, but two points for a sleep pack, one point for an energy pack, and one point for a water pack. And she had a total of eight points for the week, which made her the top spot. And the incentive was her ticket to the summit would be reimbursed at the summit. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, well, the last sleep pack that I sold was actually to a new consultant that has joined me. She was a former wholesale buyer, then went by the wayside and then became a retail customer for a little while, of which she has now switched to become a consultant. And I'm excited because um, when she got on the phone today, she's having some challenges with family members. And I explained to her exactly what you just said. It's all new now. We don't do the Neek in the way we used to do. And she got excited because she realizes that she can employ, um, you know, online remote activity, um, utilizing a lot of the video that we never had in the past. I mean, we'd pass out little cassettes or have our home meetings, and she doesn't really have the time to do it that way, but she's very excited because this is a whole new way to, thank you, Barbara, to present Nikan, but also so that she can fit it into her busy life. And so, um, and she heard me in the background. We had Suzanne, we did the three-way, and my little grandson was moaning and groaning or being himself here and there. And she understood that you can do this with a phone, which is something that you said 15 years ago. You do this business with a cell phone. I remember you holding our, your cell phone up at, on stage and saying, this is the way you can do this business. It took some of us 15 years to figure that out. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I, it is so true. That's really what you need. I mean, you know, to, to get to keep people going on it. Fantastic. I'll tell you, there's two tools. You, you brought up two, a point that I want to emphasize. Um, uh, two tools that are indispensable on your phone. WhatsApp and Zoom. With WhatsApp, you can share everything. I mean, everything with every platform. I and mean, pretty much everybody these days has WhatsApp. So it doesn't matter what type of phone you have. Um, you can share video. You can share text. You can share um, audio. You can share photos. And, and every, every form of data, Word documents, PDFs, you name it. It's like instant. So if you have, like we have, the tools chat, which is a library of these things. You just go to the tools chat, go into the library of the tools chat for documents or for videos or for uh, photos and just select the thing that you want to throw at them and you just forward it to them. Boom. And so now when I have a distribution, I just figure out what is the thing that I'm sending. I send it out to the first group and then I just forward, 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 click one button. Boom. It goes out to five groups instantly. So WhatsApp, indispensable because what a time saver. Mm -hmm. Two, uh, Zoom, we can now do video calls like this where the, the interaction is much more meaningful because it's visual and people are most visual and people will get a better sense when they see your face and they, and they see the energy coming from you. So we have the ability to record these as well. You could record an ABC call and then just give it back to the person. Say, just in case you forgot what was said here. Here's a copy of the call. So you can do that right on the fly. You can do it on your phone. You can do it on your computer. What a great tool. So the ability now to prospect is really not so much about convincing anybody because the information is now easy to, to share. It's now really about sharing. It's about exposure. The greater degree of exposure that you have, the faster you will arrive at people who are interested in knowing more about what you're knowing. I've been experimenting this last week. I've never done this before, so I'm just, I finally decided it's, if, it's, if it's to be, it's up to me on this one. So I started putting out some posts on, um, I did, um, uh, let's see, today or yesterday? It was yesterday I did an um, Instagram picture. I don't know if any of you guys have seen what I've been posting. I posted an Instagram picture with a little caption, and it has to do with the opportunity in Spanish. I picked this up from the Latinos that were running these Instagram things months and months ago. I decided to go through my files and on my phone, and I found that picture, and I cropped it, and I added my own text. 
and put it on Instagram. And I've had over 400 likes on that picture alone, huh. just in the last 48 hours. Um, I did a similar thing. I posted a picture of the summit. I even just recently posted, same day, picture of uh, the event schedule for Toronto in the next two weeks for our live events. And I, and I did a boost. What I did with that one is on Facebook, if you have a page, so everybody get yourself a page, which means if you have a Facebook profile, go and create a page, because if you have a profile, you can create a page. You can make it a business page. You can make it a product page. I suggest a business page. Anyway, so I posted the, um, the inf information. I created a graphic today. I don't know if you guys saw it. It's a pretty nice graphic. I think um, I created a graphic today of the um, event schedule for Toronto. Uh, let's see. And there's another one I've already got ready for the next couple of days. So this is the one I posted to, I don't know if you see that, if you've seen it, uh -huh. looks pretty cool, huh? So I, I just created that today, this morning, I got up and thought, hmm, I better do this. So, and I posted that, there's like 300 hits on this one already. So people are seeing it and are and i'm tracking likes so i know the likes um i did one that's in spanish and um and i've been tracking the likes by the way how many of you saw this one that's on the event site on the yeah. summit event site i posted that that's my son michael by the way that's really him and that's really him leaning out over the edge it's called the edge walk at the cn tower and while he was doing that, I was actually in the Delta Hotel down below with Bo Tannis and Peter Crawley doing our prep. I was in the area where we'll be doing our, our ticketing reservations and looking up, taking pictures of my son hanging out over the building from the, from the ground, zooming in on him while his mom had him on video. So I was watching and, and I was doing live Zoom video. So I'm watching him on video, I'm taking pictures and this is all happening in real time. It's kind of freaky, but cool. <laughs> but the fact that we can even do that, you know what I mean? You could be at three places at the same time. Who, whoever thought of that? And, and that's what's exciting about, anyway, I, I digress. So I started doing this. I want you guys to start experimenting with this. So I've had um, lots of traction um, with my posts. And every time somebody likes a page, likes the page, or asks for information, I have a new contact to follow up with and invite them to the event or have a conversation with them. So there's no shortage of leads, guys, if you just start being a little bit more creative with respect to learning how to use some of these social tools. I know absolutely nothing. And I just started pushing buttons because I figured I better do it if I don't do it. I'm wasting <laughs> this opportunity myself. So I suggest you guys just go and go on YouTube for an hour and learn how does somebody do an ad on Instagram or how do you do an ad on Facebook? And you could be advertising right where I'm advertising here in Toronto. I did a radius of, uh, I think it's 50 miles around the city of Toronto. Um, I, I put it for age 30 to 55 men and women. Um, uh, health is an interest and so that's who's getting to see I put a, a price you, you pay for a certain amount of, of advertisement which means how long are you going to run this one day three days five days seven days a month um, and how much are you going to spend on this promotion which determines how many people a day are going to actually see this so I just you know tried it a little bit 50 bucks here and try and see what happens and I'm like, hey, this is really good. So I put another hundred bucks in and it's like, wow, this is really good. And it's not big bucks. It's not like if I was doing a newspaper ad, I'm talking three to $5,000 a hit. This is only, you know, 50 to a hundred dollars a hit and I'm getting traction. So I'm like, wow, everybody ought to be doing this. So just some food for thought, take some time to learn this little simple thing that you could do in the next 24 hours, start your own advertising campaign here in Toronto to take advantage of the summit and the free free events that we're doing. I'm seeing some chat messages here. I just want to catch up. Um, let's see. Is everybody seeing this? Silver's a blast. Okay, there's the link for Silver's a blast. It's right here. Thanks, Mike, for sharing that. 
Um, I used it in exercise class this morning. Fabulous. I'm not sure what you use in exercise. The silver's a blast. Anyone know where the picture of the pie mag waterfall with nature image in was posted? You know, um, try Niken's Facebook page. Sometimes, like I've been trying to post stuff that they're posting on the on the tools so that you could take a picture. That's why I've been put, doing it, by the way. So you can take one of those pictures that are being created by Niken's marketing department that they're pushing out through their Facebook. You can take that picture and you can post it as a, pro, a promotion. Say you had a page that's product oriented. Uh, there's a lady by the name of Angela K. David. Angela K. David, C-A-D-A-V-I-D, from somewhere in Latin America. I think it's Colombia. She does really excellent uh, promotions on Instagram and Facebook for her product page. So she has a page where, the, where it's focused on marketing unique and products. She's the one that did the, uh, the presentation of, of the, um, uh, let me just think, she's doing, she's standing over the water and she's trying to remember if she was putting drops in the water or what she did. She changed the color of the water and she had like a million hits on her video. There's some absolutely crazy number of people watch this thing. And, uh, and that generated a whole bunch of traffic for her, a bunch of sales and whatnot. And of course, then that means follow-up, that you could have some prospects. So there's, there's a business page and there's your product page and both of them can, uh, can target a different audience and have a different message. So think in those terms. And, and all it takes is finding a picture or creating a picture. Let's say you find a picture, just a picture, and you wanna add some words. How I did my ad today, was I have the summit picture, you know, the CN tower and the summit. And the other one was the other, the, the, um, the other image is the, um, our city hall. So I had the pictures. So then I put the picture in PowerPoint, then using text, I added text and colored the text and changed the position of it and so forth. And then once I was satisfied with the picture, I did a screen capture. Control, it's, let's see, it's control print screen on my computer, control print screen, and then control V to paste that picture back onto the PowerPoint so that it shows up as a picture. Then I right click and saved it as a JPEG, or I think I saved it as a, anyway, I saved it as a picture. So now I have a picture of what I created in PowerPoint. And so then I put that picture on my phone by emailing it to myself. And then I made the post. So I did that all within about a half hour on, on the computer this morning because I woke up with the idea to do it. It's that simple, guys. You don't have to get frustrated by it. Just try it. When you first start, it takes a while to kind of remember how to do it. But then you get a routine down and it doesn't take as long. But yeah. Excellent. Well, you have nothing to lose, everything to gain, which is a new experience, a new, uh, a new um, you know, you're growing as a person because you're becoming technically more capable. And you, you're being able to plug into a tool that's online that can help you generate leads for your business with your eyes closed. So people coming to you, that's, that's a pretty slick way of doing things. And I think we all need to do it. And we have all the reason to do it. we got a new story to tell. Well, folks, yeah, Suzanne? I was just going to kind of build back on something that Ann was talking about and, and continuing on your social media um, focus here. Uh, when we were talking with Ann's new um, person, she was not really sure she was talking about i'm a little skeptical about and, and i don't want to push people into things and then ian said you know it's all different and i said well we do something on tuesday nights and you know i'll i have an event that i'll create for you in facebook and she said great i'd be happy to share that with everyone that i know so it was just like that, that she was able to turn from, well, I don't really know if I can do this to, oh, sure, I'll send it out to the, 
you know, five, 800 people that she's connected with. And it was so quick. And so I went and created the, the Facebook event and, you know, that was done in 10 minutes and uh, did pretty much what you just said, but I took a couple steps out of that mix and there it was and it was done. So um, it, it can work. It, is, it really can. So it's just a matter of getting over the initial fear of, can I learn to do this and, and just do it. You know, I, I learn something new every day. Every day I'm learning something new. I held my finger down on a picture because I didn't know what, how to get it. And all of a sudden the pop-up came up. Like who'd have, who'd have thought, just keep your thumb down on this picture just a second or two longer and something's going to happen. And so this is what's become of technology. It's become so, so useful because it's so intuitive. So I'm learning to hold your thumb down on a picture for a little bit longer and something happens if it's, if it's meant to happen where you can copy it into your, you can save it into your uh, pictures or whatever. There's, there's a, or you can share it or forward it, just subtle things that, that I'm learning by just doing, just by putting my fingers on my phone or, you know, applying, not reading about it, just doing it. Yeah. And I will say I lived without electricity by choice for 14 years a while back. So for me to be computer um, technology and that's how it happens. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I go in there because I want to do it and something comes up and I try it and I go, Oh, that was how it happened. Sometimes I can't quite remember, but the next time it happens again and then it starts clicking. Mm. So it's pretty magic. Well, I was trying to create a graphic <laughs> for the PowerPoint for the master slideshow for the, uh, for the summit. And it was just a graphic where the word is cut out. It's just, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but it's essentially it's a block uh, that's opaque with some color, but the word is cut out transparent. So wherever I put that word, you can see what's behind the word. And I, I didn't know how to do it. I just know it's, it's done. It's, people have done it. I've seen it all the time. You've seen it. So I'm struggling trying to figure out. So what do I do? I go to Google and I write down in English, plain English, what it is I'm trying to do and click and in PowerPoint. And then bing, all of a sudden a video. Oh, play the video 30 seconds later, not even, I know how to do it. So it's incredible the times we're living in. So even if you don't know how, if you can, if you can ask the question in English to Google, pretty good chance you're going to find an answer. So, and sometimes you can call your IT friends and they can help you too. <laughs> Thank you, Suzanne. <laughs> or, or, ask your, or ask your grandkids. They could probably help you too. Anyways, so that's it for tonight. Um, lots to think about, lots to do. Please don't hesitate. Oh, I, 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 sure, I know I mentioned this last week, but I'll mention it again because it was one of the announcements I made. The cutoff for... Um, I forgot to tell everybody, if you're placing an order for guest tickets, it's $79 per guest, minimum two, and this is for the entire event except the gala. If you're doing that, but you don't have the name of the guest, that's okay. You don't have to give us the name of the guest until October 9. So, and you'll just send me an email with the name of the guest and we'll make sure they have their guest pass with their name. Meanwhile, you just write guest. When you go to register the ticket, you have to put in the names of people. Just put guest, guest, guest. And that way, uh, we'll, keep, we'll have it on this end as guest until you tell us otherwise who the name of that person is. That way, we can get all, all dots dotted and T's crossed before the event and make sure there's a name associated with the tag. So that's it for now. Um, lots to do. Lots and lots to do. So let's get busy. I know it's going to be a long night for me. Anyway, thanks for sharing. Um, more to come. See you next week.